What is up, guys? I'm your host, Andres, from The Rundown 5, and today I have the juiciest story from this weekend. So, um, most of you, I'm pretty sure you're not into the whole uh, makeup world, or you don't know, I'm, sh I'm not sure if you know anything about the makeup world, but there are a huge, huge, huge uh, drama this weekend, this past weekend. So, if you haven't heard, there is a makeup, uh, an up and coming makeup artist by the name of James Charles. Keep that name in mind, okay? And then there's other competitors like, let's say, Jeffree Star or Tati. Okay, so, listen, listen. Come in, come in closer. So, Tati, right, is a beauty guru. That's what they call her. She makes beauty videos on YouTube, and that's her whole career, right? So, she had a let's say prodigy, right? That prodigy's name was James Charles. And listen to this juicy, juicy story, right? So, um, so when James Charles started, he was about 17 years old. He started his makeup career and he was inspired by Tati. So Tati um, pretty much gave him all the tools for success. She gave him, um, you know, pretty much his whole career. She gave him his whole career. And that's not even taken that lightly, right? So her and her husband, also the name James, um, James, her Tati's husband, helped the other James Charles with his career in the whole legal battles. So before he had a manager who wouldn't let him do things the way he wanted. So then um, uh, Tati's husband, James, she, he, you know, pretty much helped him out very, very much, right? So this is a classic story. It, it almost sounds like a movie, right? So we have, you know, the prodigy, um, James Charles, he got overrun by greed and um, he used his success as like, you know, that he was untouchable, right? So what happened was um, Tati, his, his mentor, was fed up. So what she did was she exposed James Charles in a 43 minute YouTube video pretty much explaining, um, well, it actually didn't explain everything. From the video, you can tell that she explained a few scenarios and she was just saying that there's so much more that she didn't get into. And pretty much James was um, allegedly racist towards other people. He was homophobic, transphobic. I'm not sure homophobic, but because he is gay. So pretty much what James did, and these are one of the more mainstream topics that they're talking about. So what James liked to do was go after straight men. So what he would do is he would use his fame and use his money to get, you know, these people and manipulate young teens um, to do what he wanted them to do, which isn't good. You know, um, no one's judging him because he's gay, but they're judging him on using his fame and using his money to try and uh, manipulate straight men to, you know, do things that they don't want to do. Like these, like in the video, Tati explained how at her birthday party, one of the waiters came and served their table, but James made a sexual comment in front of everyone and was just like, um, you know, I'm not gonna say it because that's sexual, but he said, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, Tati goes to James, oh, but he's straight. And he goes, um, it doesn't care, I'm a celebrity. I mean, it doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity, sorry. So, you know, that's just, shows the type of person that he's become, you know, from the bottom to what he was, and then now it dropped again because of what happened with the, with the whole being exposed thing. So pretty much his career is over. Um, no one, even Starbucks tweeted, you know, they're not gonna take him back because someone had made a meme that, you know, he should keep his Starbucks uniform in a video that he posted. So he lost the most subscribers in a day, over a million subscribers in one day. And um, you can see pictures online, people returning their James Charles palettes and all this and that. So yeah, he was, he was, he was as, he came as fast as he left. And it's sad to see, you know, someone with all that fame and, and money and, and power just go right down the drain, you know, cause if you think about it, he really didn't have much talent because, you know, his mentor gave him all that. You know, it was started with Tati and it funneled into James and, you know, something like that, you don't really have talent. Like, I'm just saying, you know, if someone, 
you know, built themselves up like Tati did, then that's having talent. But if someone gave you all the tools to success and you just use it against them and, you know, he also uh, made a vitamin, um, a product. Um. Recording. Not down. Anyways, so James Charles had made a competitor um, uh, vitamin brand that that Tati had made. So it's part, it's kind of like you know. Like if I if I was selling lemonade and then you you my best friend that I you know helped build up and they want to make a lemonade stand across the street it's like yo what are you doing man make your own you know drink make a different drink but anyways that's the scoop and I'm Andres from the Rundown Five.